Hey everyone, so it sounds like Thingiverse had a data breach. A few things to know, um, I would go ahead and request a new password there, of course, and then it sounds like, so not a security expert, but um, I'm going to be changing my email password as well. Um, on my Google, my Gmail that I happen to be using with Thingiverse, I know that um, I am using two-step verification, which does add some pr layer protection, but so if you know a better way, feel free to put it in the comments. Uh, love to have your help in the community. But I wanted to let everyone know if you haven't heard already, Thingiverse has been breached. And this leads to that bigger question. Should you be looking for maybe a more to up-to-date platform for where you get your models, where you collaborate, where you share those STLs for that kind of community-driven place to go? And this is kind of expediting it for me. I have just been kind of lazy and I'm still been using Thingiverse, but um, I was checking out Things today and I was really impressed and I'm excited to start kind of investigating that platform. So watching the Maker Muse video from Angus, it sure sounds like, in his opinion, Thingiverse is, is almost obsolete because MakerBot, who owns it, is not really investing in the platform. So something to be aware of, not sure what the future is for Thingiverse, but I'm definitely changing my passwords today. Hope everyone's well in the community. Talk to you soon.